Hey, you're watching Vinyl 4 Miles, your best resource for music, audio gear, and vinyl reviews. Today, we're checking out some cool vinyl accessories. I guess this is volume four. Stick around. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate the support. If you're new here, what we do is we review vinyl gear, uh, audio gear, records, music, anything having to do with audio, I am on it. Today, we're doing another iteration of my vinyl accessory reviews. Typically, companies will send me their uh, vinyl accessories, their gear, sometimes their subscription services to review, and I just spotlight them on my channel if I think it's cool. All right, so why don't we go ahead and kick off the video. What I have in my hands here is a really cool package. It looks like wood. Uh, it says Q78 on it. And what this is, is it's just a record display. So you can put, I think, up to like 70 records on this thing. Uh, and you can flip through your records if you want to have like your most listened to records on top of your area that you listen to records. That's what this does. There's no tools needed to assemble this thing, which we're going to put this together right now. You can safely store 70 records, not 78. They could have made it a little bit bigger to match the name of their company, Q78. but. That's besides the point, it stored 70 records. Uh, surprise gifts included, hmm. And you have 100 days to test it and keep it. So if you don't like this, contact their Amazon store and they will take it back and give you a refund. It is 40 bucks, so keep that in mind while we're reviewing this and at the end I'll let you know if I think it's worth 40 bucks or not. So I'm gonna clear some space here uh, so we can display some records and test this thing out. So give me one minute. All right, so I just moved my Sonos Move out of the way. I got plenty of room here to put this record display. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. Thank you for purchasing our vinyl storage and display unit. As music and vinyl lovers ourselves, we aim to create quality functional products that people want to show off as much as their vinyl. Okay, I was not expecting that. Damn, that's pretty cool. You get a little audible message. <laughs> Your package talks to you. Here's the entry form here. You can enter to win a uh, Rega Planner 3. Oh damn, that's a really nice turntable. It has a three year warranty on this thing. So you get 100 days to try it out and there's a three year warranty. This is pretty nice. All right, instructions are on the back of that entry. All right, so once you get your free goodie out of the way, uh, this is what you see. It's just some foam. Let's go ahead and move the foam out. Oh, cool. Very nice. Dude, they like package this thing so well. Wow. All right, so this comes off here and we get, this looks like some plexiglass inserts, two pieces of solid wood. So this is not particle board. So you get three pieces of solid wood and you get one piece of plexiglass that says Q78 on it. Uh, and it looks like you get some rubber 3M strips, I'm guessing that go on the feet to keep it nice and steady wherever you're gonna display your records. Here is the box, and you know what's cool about this? Hold on to this, man, because you can ship like a box set if you wanna sell a box set to somebody, um, or if you wanna just store some records in a box, like this fits your records, so this is pretty cool. Oh, this is satisfying, ready? So satisfying. All right, stick the small rubber strips onto the bottom feet. There we go. I got the four rubber feet on. As with all 3M adhesive products, let it sit for about a day. Don't try to peel it off so that adhesive will bond with the material. All right, looks like we're gonna snap this bad boy into here and snap it together. So one goes here, the other goes there. Just like that. And then you're going to slide in the acrylic panel, just like that. And it is now fully assembled. So let's go ahead and set it on my display area. I will note the only thing I'm seeing so far that I usually see on these types of displays is there's normally something in the front to keep your records from falling forward. I don't see that here, but it is at quite an angle. If you look here, it slopes downward. So everything should rest on the back and hopefully stay in place. So let me go grab some records and we're gonna put them on here and see how this works. Um, so why don't we just start stacking them? I'm gonna start off with my favorite album by Taylor Swift called Lover. It's actually, it's my wife's album. Oh my God, dude, you have so much metal on your channel. What's up with all the Taylor Swift, bro? Like I said, don't hate. All right, I got some Chemists, Iron Maiden, The Sword, Electric Wizard, 
This is Dance Gavin Dance's newest live album. Issues, uh, Spill Canvas, In This Moment, and a very obscure album, Beast Milk. If you guys have ever heard Beast Milk, good stuff. Everything is on here. Let's see how it holds up when I shift through some records. So why don't we go ahead and try to find that Taylor Swift album. Uh, folklore, let's do that, come on. Everything seems to be staying in place. I'm shifting through my records. Here it is, Taylor Swift. So if I wanted to pull this one out. I mean, everything seems to be staying in place. These little grooves here keep the records from slipping, so that's pretty nice. So let's put this in the front. Yeah, so, I mean, the groove is about, it's about the size of a single LP, not a double, but you're not supposed to stick a record in there. What it's supposed to do is just keep the record from falling forward. So, I mean, this is actually not bad. For the price, I mean, it's 40 bucks. You get some cool stuff. The package talks to you. <laughs> um, there's some cool branding and you get some free sleeves. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a pretty good deal. Um, I'm not too worried about the records falling forward because they're leaning back at a pretty aggressive angle. So let me go ahead and pop you guys off my tripod and I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little better look at it. So there's a little better angle. You can see the aggressive tilt on the records. They're really not gonna go anywhere. So as long as you put your hand in the front to keep that front record from falling, I mean, even if I were to, you know, put it here straight, it falls back. So I mean, this thing is pretty, pretty solid. So thumbs up for me, I recommend it. Check it out below. All right, so if you've watched any of my vinyl accessory videos, I've always, you know, give high praise to Vinyl Storage Solutions for uh, their sleeves, their inner and outer sleeves. They have some of the coolest outer sleeves that have pockets on the outside, which I can show you right now. So this is one of their sleeves. That's actually two of their sleeves you can use for a gatefold. And look at that. You can literally open your gatefolds for like the first time ever. <laughs> um, but there's also pockets in here, so you can quickly pull your record in and out, and it just makes storing the stuff and protecting it a breeze. And plus, like I mentioned, like I've never had uh, a sleeve, an outer sleeve that I can open my gatefolds with. So all you have to do is use two of them. Pretty badass. So. Last time on my channel, I was featuring their crystal clear inner sleeves, which you can see here. So if you pair this with their pocket sleeve, you can literally flip your record on the back and you can see the cool color variant. So here's my new Sword album. Well, not new, it's an older album, but this is for Record Store Day. They repressed um, Age of Winter. But if you flip it over, you can see there's a pocket right here. And with that pocket, you can just pull the record out that way, like if I'm going to show my friends, like, yeah, here's my album and this is the pressing, you can show it instantly. You don't have to like open it up and pull it out of the sleeve and do all the work, right? They just released something that would rival uh, master quality. So, so what they sent me were these. It's their premium inner master sleeves. They're archival quality, there's no scratching and it's acid free. And I believe it's using rice paper on here. So you do get a nice firm backing on here because of the rice paper and your records are going to be stored, protected, anti-static, like this is pretty much the highest quality sleeve you can get. Now, I was raving about the crystal clear sleeves, you know, they're anti-static, all the same properties, but that's more for your nice color variants, stuff that you wanna show off. I don't typically use the crystal clear stuff for like my 180 gram black vinyl, because it's kind of a waste. It's like you don't, it's black. There's nothing unique about it. Um, so I've been using these with all of my 180 gram black albums and Whew, like these are very, very nice. So I'm gonna show you real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out of my crystal clear sleeve and I'm gonna put it in one of these archival master inner sleeves. So putting them in is very easy. There's an opening up top, as you can see, it just slides right in. And this gives it some rigidness. So when you're putting it in and out of your record sleeve, it is a little more stiff and has holds its shape better than a typical sleeve would. I probably would compare these to like MoFi uh, archival master sleeves. And what's cool is that they come in many different sizes. So if you want to, you know, store your seven inch, here's a seven inch sleeve. If you want to store uh, your 45s, they make a 45. So they have all the different sizes you can need. Overall, I'm pretty stoked with it. Good product. Check it out, Vinyl Storage Solutions, and also just. Seriously, check out their outer sleeves with pockets. Like, this is life-changing. I've saved so much time listening to vinyl. Using these, I could just pull the record right out and it's ready to go. All right, so the final thing that I wanted to share with you guys in review, vinyl. 
the art of making records. You may have seen this in the background of my previous video. Um, I got this for my birthday from my in-laws and it is one hell of a cool book. Uh, this book was written by Mike Evans. So it goes through the history of vinyl, how vinyl's made. It's the exact size of a record, which is pretty cool. And it's amazing quality print. So on the inside here, let me kind of go through some of these pages. You got some Pink Floyd here, some UFO. I mean, and this goes all the way up through Rush and then to some more modern hi-fi turntables. This book is worth a buy, worth checking out. It also comes with some special edition prints. So there's like a little sleeve in the back there um, and it comes with some really cool rare prints that you can frame and hang up. Uh, it's limited edition. So, you know, I actually own all these records. <laughs> we got some Iron Maiden, Rick James, Beastie Boys, 1980. So it kind of goes through every era and then it ends up uh, in the 1990s with Pearl Jam, Nirvana. What do we got here? Weezer, Radiohead. So definitely very cool. It's called Vinyl, The Art of Making Records. I'm gonna put a link to this below. If you're into the history of vinyl music, trying to just dive deeper into how they're made. Um, and then again, in the very back, if you wanna just nerd out on some super hi-fi systems, uh, this is definitely the book to get. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. I guess this is volume four of my vinyl accessory reviews. If you're a company that makes vinyl accessories, if you make turntables, I'll willingly put you on my channel if you guys want to send me some of your stuff. I love reviewing it. I love promoting companies that I think um, are making some pretty cool stuff. So again, this is a Q78, so check them out. Uh, Vinyl Storage Solutions, they sent me the sleeves. And then again, this one is Vinyl, the Art of Making Records. I have some more music related videos coming out. I don't know if you can see behind me there, but I do have a new guitar amplifier that I wanted to review and I wanted to start producing a little bit of music on this channel because I am a longtime musician. You know, this channel has just been mostly my hobbies and I thought why not showcase some music on here. So keep your eyes peeled for that coming very soon and your ears. And until next time, I'm Michael, you're watching Bottle for Miles. Take it easy.